Hi, thanks for stopping by to learn about IB Art. In IB Art, you can either do it as a one-year program or a two-year program. You can pick an emphasis and in digital photography, drawing and painting, which is our 2D or 3D art. We have three assessments in IB Art. We have a comparative study, which is worth 20%, process portfolio, which is worth 40%, and an exhibition, which is worth 40%. So these are the three assessments that we do in IB Art, and they are all projects-based. So you don't have to sit in a classroom to take any tests. So let me just talk about the steps that we have our students go through. So if a student has decided to take IB Art, what we do is we have them explore a spring and summer assignment. We have the students develop their theme for their portfolio. So you fill out a mind map such as this. In the center, you'll put in ideas that are important to you, and then you'll explore possible project ideas. The second part is to then go and research some of those project ideas. And then finally, you will write a statement that outlines your IB theme. Once the school year starts, then you're going to start working on your comparative study. Now your comparative study is going to compare three artworks. So in this example, we have Cindy Sherman, Frida Kahlo, and another painting by Frida Kahlo. You're going to evaluate the artwork for the formal properties, the function and purpose, and the cultural significance. And you're going to do that for each of the different artworks. Then you're going to compare them. You're going to compare all three artworks to each other, write a conclusion, and have a, a works cited page. If you are an HL student, you will do one additional step, and that is you will compare your work to the other three artworks, and you will also analyze your work for the formal properties, function and purpose, and cultural significance. So let's now focus a little bit on the process portfolio. The process portfolio is basically step-by-step -step how you create your work. So you start with a critical investigation first, and you come up with artist inspirations, and you come up with a project idea. Second, you actually do some exploration of technique. And once you've done that, then you can actually create an art project and document the process of creating that artwork as well. Then you do a final reflection and you think back on your process, and then you plan your next project. For the exhibition assessment, you will write a curatorial rationale, and then you, we will print one for your actual display at your exhibition. You will write exhibition text. Each of these will go with each of your pieces. Here is an example of a theme portfolio that was done two years ago. There were five pieces, and these were all the works that were in the actual show. The student received a five score. Here is another example of a theme portfolio. The student was an HL student. They had nine pieces, and they had a score of a five. The best part of being in Ivy Art is the exhibition because you get to put up your work. We have a huge party with food and friends and family get to come and see your work. It really showcases your, your, all of your accomplishments. There is no, no Ivy program of the six that really does this, that really showcases your hard work. And here's another example from our Ivy exhibition. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about IB Art, and we look forward to seeing you in the fall.